are on the trail climbing our first mountain for today and are planning to get to the summit and the border of French Andorra border. We are following GR11 for now and today we want to do 15 kilometers and then we'll probably sleep in a tent in the forest. So let us start it! The signs are very fresh here, so great for us, so we can follow them and not get lost. Already very hot now and we're still going in the shadow. It's when you know it's not gonna be an easy day. Just looking at GPS, the elevation profile shows us that it's not going to be very steep but very constant uphill all the way to the top of the mountain. So we really hope so that it's not going to be a rock climbing experience today like the other day when we did Curlit. Yeah, but we'll know it very soon. signs all around. Not sure what they mean. Probably it's for the rock climbers. If you know, let us know. Because there's obviously no route up there for walkers or hikers.
found such a cool big green caterpillar. Almost stepped on it. Interesting to know what it's gonna be. I think we start to see the Andorra border. So cool. Very near. Having so many huge, massive frogs all around gives the landscape so much more dramatic effect. So lovely. This route reminds us very much of that past hikes that we did, like Buyus area and Aden Valley, loud very much. the sweat and dirt and it's not a very bad day actually in terms of hot weather there is a cool wind blowing very refreshing so no complaints Having a little snack because we are super hungry right now. Want to eat full meal, but have no time. Have to go. Had to wear jackets because it's kind of chilly right now. Yeah, the cool wind start blowing and kind of cold. We feel like we are 
quite high up now in the mountains. got the steep uphill at the end of the day when you're already tired is the most challenging part for sure And even here that often you're not sure whether you are stepping on the human's path or it's the path made by cows so the GPS is always our friend Now we're at the height of two five hundred, so you gotta expect that, I guess. to the border. This is our highest point for today. So cool. Here are different directions. We came from Porta. Now it says that there is valley of Camcardos. I think that's where we're heading now. And here are different summits that are all around us. So cool.
actually we only now made it to the border. The last one was a mistake. And, but there is no sign or nothing. The place is so cool. Check it out. Rocks. I can't believe they are all falling down from the mountain. That's unbelievable. We finished our day. It was interesting trail with a gentle but constant uphill. That with backpacks quite difficult. And the path itself is quite well signed, especially at the start. But then it kind of gets tricky when you have to look at the GPS sometimes. And also we found out that walking on the grass is not very easy. <laughs> Even can be harder than on the rocks. But we laughed a lot walking this valley, met a lot of horses and cows and well, lizards, birds. So we're very happy about that. Now we're going to set up a tent and have a good rest. It is very needed. This is gonna be an experiment right now. Trying to set up a tent on the concrete surface. And this tent is not made for that. So now we're gonna try to set it up with the rocks. Let's see if it works out. Let's see. Seem to be working out. Nothing better in the rocky areas like this one. It's longer and harder, but it's it's good and it's very solid. It's a good experience for us for the future when you can find the flat surface. That is great. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed our video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to always stay up to date with all our recent hikes and adventures. Make sure to check out the detailed map of the hike in the description below the video. Also follow us on social media like Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. Hope you are having a wonderful day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!